Hey guys, Swabaliki here today and welcome to a brand new series of City Skylines. Now, we don't really have a name for this city yet, I've temporarily called it uh, Baruna, which we might stick with if you guys like it. If not, uh, as we go through the episode, you know, suggest some names down below and then we'll probably name the series that, so the episode of this first title may be different in the future, or it may be what it is forever because you're watching in the future. I don't know. But welcome. This is the map we're using. This map is based on a real town in Sweden called Karlskrona. I probably didn't say it exactly right, but it's along those lines. So I wanted a map that was something like, uh, well, I wanted it to be different to all the other maps that we've done cities on in the past. Like we did a big desert city last time we were in the mountains. Uh, and then we've done, you know, just, I guess, normal kind of ish maps. Uh, but we've never, and, and I didn't want to go full on island map. Like I didn't want to just have only islands. So that's why I thought doing like an archipelago, which is obviously a blend between plenty of land, uh, plenty of land around here. And then also some islands on the other end of the map that we've got over here. I thought this was a good sort of way to go. It also, it's pretty flat. So, you know, there's no, there's no mountains or anything on this map. Uh, but, you know, the, the feature of this city is not going to be mountains and building around them. It's going to be building around the water, working with waterways, probably using a lot of ferries and that. Now, one thing I definitely don't want to do with this map, I don't want to overpopulate it with bloody cargo ships because that always looks terrible. So hopefully we can... Uh, figure that out. I don't know. We'll see how we go. Uh, but yeah, so this is the map. It is by uh, Teddy Radko. It's uh, it's based off of, yeah, so it's based off the actual real life location. So I assume they use some sort of height map or whatever. Um, it did originally come with like a whole bunch of roads. I think it had probably a lot of the original, well, the, the realistic road network. It was all built through here and there was a whole bunch of it. I actually went through and removed all of them just because I want to build my own city. Um, oh my god. Yeah, we... Uh, there's a lot of traffic already going through here. Yeah, so we probably will need to rebuild this at some point. Uh, probably not going to be very good for, for us. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a little... We'll, we'll have to look into that. But anyway, that, that's actually outside of my map at the moment. So we'll, we'll worry about that later. Um, yeah, so I, I removed a lot of the roads. I made a, like that modification and uh, that was kind of it. Uh, originally, the road, so this highway came down here and went all around. And there was like roads all down here and one that went all the way around. But I probably want to try and build on these islands initially probably just by boat and then maybe later on we'll build a road or something i don't know we'll see basically we'll see how we go we'll go we'll go with the flow and see what happens so if we jump out of this we can see where we are go away we are in this little tile here it's our starting tile i did actually keep the railway because i kind of liked how it was sort of setting me up for a nice sort of central train station there uh so we'll build it here somewhere i'm not exactly sure where yet maybe we can get a nice little actually i was looking at the water flow because we've obviously got to make sure we pay attention to that. Water coming this way, it's flowing sort of that way. Uh, well, let's build a road first. So we're going to need to, we can't really do... Oh, I, I downloaded bloody network extensions again. Because the whole last series, I didn't have that. Um, but I thought, you know, this series, I might as well jump in with it. <laughs> might as well jump in with it. Let me um, build like a normal road. Can I, wait, where is... Oh, hang on. Normal road. Build. Okay. I, I, I just don't understand why it does that. <laughs> it's like you have to build the normal road to unlock a few others. Um, okay. So I think probably just build, maybe we could just build a roundabout here. Might be a good idea, and sort of work off of that to start off with, and then later on as we sort of go on, we can uh, I guess sort it out. Now I guess in hindsight, maybe should have. Well, I guess we're gonna <laughs> wait. Do we have we have large roads, right? Hang on, let me use um just like this road. No, this road. We're going to use this, because we're going to need the, the highway to join to these guys. Uh, we don't have any highway roads yet. Cool. Cool. In, <laughs> in hindsight, maybe, maybe we should have worried about that later. Uh, Alright, so, I and as per usual, my city is in left-hand drive, because that's the way I play the game. It's the way I live my life. I live my life in left-hand drive, people. It's how I drive every day, and I live in a right-hand drive country. It's pretty dangerous. No, I'm kidding, obviously. Uh, yeah, because yeah, we've had a few new people come to the channel and they're like, why, what's the deal with everyone with left-hand drive? And the funny thing is, a lot of the other sort of, I guess, bigger sort of city, well, I guess not bigger, but the more known City Skylines YouTubers lately, like myself, Biffa, Conflict Nerd, uh, uh, Sam Burr, like, 
the that at least that list that I just sort of rattled off, we all live in countries with left hand drive. <laughs> so it's like I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know why that's kind of happened, but it's just the way that it is. So it was quite funny because there was a comment where someone was like, "What's the deal with all these city skylines YouTubers in left hand drive?" And I was like, "Hmm." You know what? I never thought about that, but yeah, that, that makes sense. Uh, anyway, so this is basically just going to do this. And the other reason we want to do that is so we can put a roundabout on this section. Uh, I will use a smaller road because I don't actually want to use a giant road for this area. At least not yet. Uh, so this will come, I guess, just off here. How much money do I have, by the way? 66,000. Not using any money yet, which is good. Uh, I'm going to be using the roundabout mod, which could get messy here. I might make that a bit smaller. Uh, we're going to use a roundabout mod. Two lane road. Can we use a two-lane highway even though we don't have it unlocked? I don't know. Two-lane highway, uh, just normal. Ah, yes we can. Great. It looks a little dodgy. Like I said, we will rebuild this as we go. It's one of the- oh, it undid all of my other stuff over there. <laughs> like I said, we will- this is something that will probably- well, no, it will change because it looks really dumb right now, so. But this is just- I don't know, it seems a little nicer than, um, having- yeah, that's good. Uh, uh, like this giant sort of interchange or just, uh, or what's happening over there, which I can't actually get, hang on, if I click this I can get over there, I think, yeah. Or what's happening over here with this, like, road crossing, like, this is obviously, this is like an appropriate interchange. Uh, actually, can I do, while I'm here, can I actually do, uh, oh, yes, I can. Great. So I'm gonna let you guys flow directly through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh, and they're doing all these weird, so I'm just gonna get this section flowing a little bit quicker. And I'll, I'll do giveaways and all that, of course. So the, no, these guys here need to give way. And you need to give way, because this is the highway road, so obviously. Uh, they need to give way. And they need to give way. Oh, actually, they probably don't. They could probably just merge there. Then I also want to say... Uh, lane connections. So this cannot... That's the only way it can go. Come on, idiots. That goes there. This goes here. And then this can go, I guess, right or forward. Wait, does it need to go right? I guess not really, because that's a U-turn. Well, you might want a U-turn, I guess. Uh, and then this can go here. Oh, I guess I didn't need to do that one, actually. And then I'll make sure these merge together nice and smoothly. Uh, uh, I guess I wouldn't have done this right now. Like this, this honestly, this would not have been the first thing that... Uh, we should probably have two lanes here that I would have done. Uh, but... Actually, you can do that. Get rid of that bit. But... It makes sense. So from here, you can only go straight across, because I don't think you should be able to turn right there. This should only go straight across. I don't really know what I've done. It gets really confusing real quick. But anyway, they can't U-turn there now. It's only for a right-hand turn. Seems a little dodgy there, but yeah, it's it's it's. you can see it's clearly flowing a lot smoother now. Uh, this is kind of strange that we have this... Uh, I don't know. Well, we need to rebuild the highway at some point, so... <laughs> Let's, let's, let's worry about that later when we actually have a population. I'm spent, oh god, I'm spending $34. Go away, roundabout builder. Stop being kept open. Okay. Uh, oh, I never finished this bit. Uh, we gotta do all this. Uh, okay, well we don't need to manually do all the lane adjustments. And there's not gonna be any traffic coming this way right now, so I guess I don't need to do this. Because there's nothing, there's nothing at the other end of this highway. Like, this doesn't go anywhere. This goes to a dead end over there. <laughs> so I guess I didn't need to do that. Right, on this bit I want to say that lane is an exit, that lane is an exit, and then that lane is an exit. So then the inner lane always goes around and that one turns off. Cool. Right, so that should allow us, oh I need to say they can go through this intersection otherwise it will again get really really messy really quickly. So that should be good. Uh, yeah, that looks all good to me. Cool. Alright, so I'll go like that. Uh, I guess we could probably up the speed limit on this. To just match the highway, at least. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Whatever. Because it went down to 40. Okay, we can keep this 40. Right, okay, so we built that. <laughs> Alright, then this is going to come down this way. This, we probably want to be pretty... Uh, almost kind of geometric in a way. Because this is going to be this is gonna be a pretty busy area. This will probably be... Um, we can really make this whole region here, like the main downtown section, because I think that's kind of what it is in real life. Uh, now, in real life, it's not a big city. In City Skylines, we're going to make it a big city, though, so it'll be fun. It'll be fun. And at some point, we will be doing the campuses, but obviously we have to build up our city to that point. So we'll get there when we do. I might just, um, while we're here, do a little smooth sloping. 
I guess when I was building it, I could have done it, but we'll just do it this way. Oh, actually, that's not as smooth as I wanted it to be. Maybe something more like, whoops, like this from that point to this point. And maybe not. <laughs> maybe we'll bring that down a little bit. Uh, and then that can go down a little bit. Ah, that's nicer. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Okay. And then I might curve this down like this. Hang on. And then, you know what? I don't know why I have it unpaused. We'll curve it down like this. So we're going to go, hang on. Uh, nope. This is not how I want it to be. So here, and then we'll go like 135 degrees, maybe. Oh, I can't. Oh, wait, no, that way. There we go. So four units, four units, 135. We'll turn this way. We'll come here. Oh, actually. Uh, no, we'll go we'll go here and then we'll sort of curve back in again. So this will probably become a small main road, if that makes sense. Like it will probably be feed through this, at least this area at some point. Uh, and sort of, you know, supply this area with uh, connection to the highway. All right, so we'll do that for now. That looks pretty good to me. Uh, and then roadways. I kind of am inclined to use a small alleyway roads because it's a pretty, it is a pretty small area. So I don't really want to be using these giant roads everywhere. Like, we could use these. At least for some of it, maybe. Maybe that's what we can do. We'll use it for some of this area, but not all of it. Otherwise, we'll probably we'll probably end up overusing it if we do that. So I'm going to go down there. And then see if we can just curve this in nicely. We want it to look nice and neat. Yeah, there you go. Uh, that go here. I don't know that I want it to... I probably don't want it connecting to this road here. Oh, no, like, I will, but we'll probably change the... Well, if this road is a lot slower, they'll prefer this one anyway, so it should be fine. Alright, let's just start with this, because this is all we really need. I just didn't want to put houses directly on this road. Oh, by the way, so, we're going to start off with the normal, you know, vanilla buildings that we're going to get going on here. Just because I'm not really sure exactly what theme we're going to do. Um, now, before we get too far into this, let's get some power. Should we try to... Oh, I was going to say, should we try to do clean power? There's not a lot of wind though, it's a problem. We can get it out over here. We we'll have to bring it all the, back, all the way back over. I want the city to be nice. Like, I, w I want this to be a nice place to live because the last city was kind of gross and I think- I feel like we've already done the gross city now, you know? How much does this all cost me to do? I could probably handle it. Not too much, I'll go to there. Uh, and then I might just do a... Oh, I guess I- well, I should probably just do a pump, right? Where do we want to- ugh, the sewage is going to be gross. I wonder if we can dump it in here. Because that's a water source. I we might be able to dump in there. I guess we can try. And then maybe for now, just to keep it- everything close together. Uh, I'll put it- I guess here. It's, it's really not good. This is all going to have to move. This is just to start off with. Because we're going to need all this stuff to start off with. Okay. Uh, yeah, so building theme wise, obviously this is based on a location in Sweden. So we could do a more European style, or we could do... I'd see... Uh, here's the thing, I don't want to go for a full, fully custom themed city, just because... I feel like I'm not going to be able to do it very well. But we can definitely get some themed buildings and, you know, actually set up a building theme so that we get those. Because right now this just looks like... Welcome to City Skylines 2015! Here are the buildings in that game. You know, that's what it looks like. How does that not have power? Really? It's so close, come on. <laughs> That's- I thought I put it close enough that it would have power. Damn it. Alright, and then, do we see if we can just dump sewage here? Let's see if this works. It might, like, flood out, but I guess we'll find out. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. Alright, so then I'll just grab a power line from here and bring it across. Yeah, so I think what I might do, kind of- I guess kind of what we did in Sedona, which I- for- for, uh... For those of you who don't know, that was a city I did, I guess, three... It wasn't my last city, it wasn't the one before that, it was the one before that. So I was thinking, yeah, three cities ago. Uh, is the one that we did. It is flooding a little bit there, but it should hopefully stay contained after it gets going, maybe. Um, anyway, yeah, so in that city, we didn't real we didn't do a complete custom theme, but what we did do was select specifically which buildings we wanted to appear in that city. So we went through all the buildings to make sure we chose the ones that, you know, suited uh, the city. And so maybe we'll do that again. So what what is this? What uh, resource is that? And also, we don't have any, like, map theme on right now. Again, that's something that we might add in. I kind of- I, I honestly just want to start- start this off. And then- oh, I can't even check resources. <laughs> I honestly wanted to start this off and then see what you guys had to say. Uh, and what you thought about, you know, the city name, the style of it, the theme. Uh, and then we'll go from there, because all this stuff can be changed as we go, so... 
Figured you would have a good idea for that kind of stuff. All right, so we've got pretty even demand for everything. Let's get some... I'm going to do smaller shops here. Just like a, just like three tiles deep. Nothing too big. So that will probably fill in. Now, industrial for now, I might do down here, just where all this garbage is. Also, we have a train line here, so... And that means we can use a roundabout, which is pretty cool. So we will do that. But it's going to come out this way. Not at minus two. Uh, actually, you know what? Maybe I don't want to go straight up there. I think I might actually go kind of like this. I'm going to curve... Actually, you know what? I might go minus two, because then we'll be down a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we're going to come around, because this is a little bit... It's a little bit hilly here. Like this. I might, I might sort of smooth this out a little bit too as we go. So four units, and then we're going to go four units. Let's go maybe... Get away, road guide. 120 degrees. Comes around here. And then we'll do another corner here somewhere. I'm I'm not doing four units for any particular reason other than, I don't know, looks like a nice size. <laughs> it's like a nice sort of... The curve isn't too tight, but it isn't too... Uh, too big either, but it gives it a different look. Alright, so then we can come down here. Uh, and then that means we can do like a cargo station here somewhere as well at some point. I think it's quite nice. So, I might just build alongside this. I don't really... What even are these? Oh, there's like cemeteries. Oh. Yeah, for now we'll build along it, but um, I guess at some point maybe we'll change that out. Might change this. Alright, so then this can go... I'm not gonna bother measuring these ones, just go like this. Uh, yeah, so I don't want it to be all straight roads, but I also want it to be a little bit interesting, as you can see. Make it a little bit more, you know, unique. Alright, so we've got a lot of industrial demand. So I'm going to take this pipe. Hey, so let me know in the comments down below as well, along with everything else. There's some people that really freak out if their pipes don't follow their roads. And others just don't care. I, I'm going to be honest, I don't really care, but I feel like this is satisfying to some people to have it go under the road. However, having said that, um, I feel like... Okay, why is this all snapping? What are you snapping to? Get away. I feel like... I'm not follow uh, Maybe I'm not following it exact enough for some people. You know? <laughs> is this enough? Is that is that good enough? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, so this over here... I guess it's just... Well, it's going to be normal industry for now because we can't really do any other industry. Uh, I might use this median strip road as well. We'll probably use more of this as we go through it. Let me also turn these back on. Now I do need these. Oh yeah, I could have just done that. Uh, so we'll just get down the side of this. Um, we'll probably put something here at some point. But for now, let's just go for regular industry. Let's put it all here. Whatever, that'll be fine. Again, probably will change, but we just need it to grow the city for now. Okay, so back over this way. Looking good. Looking good. Good job, everybody. Looking really, really good in this city. Alright, so, well, if we're going to have this road be kind of a main road, we probably want to branch maybe off here that comes this way. So I might do that now. And I'll just build it as like a normal road like this. Hang on, I shall go straight off. Because we'll probably replace this with a roundabout as well. Oh, should we go around this lake? Maybe up and around it. Yeah, that might be better. Up and around Pooh Lake. Which again, uh, apparently working. Uh, it doesn't seem to be filling up. At least I hope not. For now, it seems okay. But we'll see, I guess. <laughs> but we shall see. Alright, then I might just do it. Maybe just a 90 degree turn. Let's go five units. Let's let's be a little crazy for once. And this is going to come around this way. And we can sort of build out over there too. Which would be nice. And then it means I can sort of start... The other reason I wanted to do that is so I can sort of start building in this area. Uh, do I want another small road here? Like directly off that one? Yeah, what we might do actually... We'll say, oh, you know what, you know which roads I want? Oh, maybe I'll go download them now. Hang on. Okay, are they unlocked? Let's see, I just downloaded them. Uh, ah, oh, yes, these ones. The two-lane suburban street and then the one with grass and without grass. So, uh, these are by Urbanist on the Steam Workshop. Uh, now this, the reason I want this, let's just do it like this, is because you get rid of the, the crosswalk. Yeah, look at that, beautiful, that's what I want. Uh, however, having said that, we will probably... How much... Wait, how much does this... Does this cost me money to do this? Oh, actually, no, it doesn't. It's free. Sweet. Um, we will pro Again, we'll probably change this road, though, at some point. Because it will become a much busier road as it develops more. But for now, I thought it's quite nice just to leave it leave it like that. I don't know. Th that looks way nicer to me than having these, these crossings everywhere. And what I'll do is I'll say, give way and give way. So then, obviously, main road and then... Cool. Yeah, I like that. 
Right, uh, so we're gonna, I guess, continue building over this way because that's what I was gonna do. Now this will probably join up to that road at some point. In the meantime, we're just gonna build here. Can I actually, because that's the snapping point, but I wonder if I could get, if I get rid of the road, guys, can I get it like right there? Because I want it to be as close as possible. Which is weird. Oh, uh, I guess because the road is thinner. Okay, so even if it is as close as possible, it's not actually... Like, that blue circle is a little wrong, so you kind of need to go about there, maybe. Or is that too close now? Or am I, am I wasting too much time trying to do this? Because trying to line it up. Yeah, see, now it's three. Actually, I guess we could just use move it, couldn't we? Hang on, can I, can I use move it and also see the... No, I don't think so. Ooh, that's pretty close. I like that. Uh, this one, I guess, will not join the main road because it probably will be too close. Uh, we do... Oh, I was going to say, we do need more industrial, but I actually don't think we do... Oh! <laughs> oh! Yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. Oh, actually, I think I still have the no abandonment mod on. Oh, actually, you know what? I might have disabled that. Uh, because we were using that in the last city. And I did I did disable... Uh, so if you, if you watch my last city, uh, this will be relevant... To you, if not, then I guess you can tune out for a couple of seconds. Uh, the last city we used plop the growables so we could manually place buildings wherever we wanted. We'll probably go back to the Rico method in this city just because that's probably more suited for this city. Uh, and we also had a, a mod. Do we not have an, enough water or is it just not? Is that not connected? Oh, no way. I think I just built it, didn't I? Hang on. Yeah, there we go. Um, yeah, yeah, so we had uh, a, a mod to stop buildings going abandoned because when we used Plop the Growables, uh, we'd just put down a bunch of buildings and then people wouldn't be living in them or working yet, so then we got no abandonment to stop them being abandoned. But I believe I turned that off. I do want that off if that is in my game, just because I don't think we need it. And I'd rather not mess with the game mechanics. Like, if you can get the game working in a pretty much vanilla state for, I guess, the basic stuff. I don't know, I just prefer it. Um, I don't know if I would want to do this road like this, but I guess I am, so... <laughs> I don't know if I want to do the road like this, but I am. So I have it come along here and then... Oh, you know what? Why don't we go... Can we get it to... If I could get it to, like, come out of this section, that'd be sweet. Like that. Yeah, that's cool. Obviously, just adjust it. Yeah, yeah, yeah I like that. And then we'll say... You actually cannot turn right here. It's just a road that flows on like that. But I'll let this one go. I guess I don't... No, I don't need to do that. Oh, now, now I've buggered it up. All right, I'll, I'll manually do it. I'll leave that one. I just don't want this one turning right, because that's that would be that's the main road. I think it'd be too busy, but if you can, you can go there. That's cool. I like that. I dig it. And then that's going to go there and join back up to here. Now, okay, good. We are making money. I, I wasn't actually paying attention just because I've been building roads. <laughs> I was like, are, are we making money? I don't know. Who cares? Uh, I guess we'll join that one through. I might do this as a one. Uh, you know what? We'll leave the roads. We'll do them one way later on as the city grows. Because right now, clearly, we don't need these any roads to be one way. There's just no traffic. There's no traffic to sort of warrant that. Uh, so we won't worry about it. All right, so that should cover most of this space, which is good. Don't know if I want to build it right up to the edge here, just because it's going to make the land look a little dumb. I think he's a bit bigger there. Anyway, they'll fill in there, which would be nice. Uh, I think this would look so cool uh, if we bring this up to like a medium density and have all these sort of like uh, even just like oh, if we can get like a bunch of town like custom townhouses through this area I think it'd look really good because the, the the default game ones look terrible like <laughs> I just don't like them at all I guess I'll put that to there I'll go into that road as well all right, I should probably move this power line now it is really in the way okay but there we go I'm move that as well. So that obviously connects all through here, and then I'll just do this. Yeah, this definitely doesn't look like it's feel I think it's staying at this height, so we can have a little poo lake there for now. But I just didn't want to pollute the whole area. Um, actually, power-wise, we got to keep an eye on that because that's over there. If I sort of lose sight of it and it starts getting, like, losing power, that could be a problem, but let's see how we go. Now, I don't want to use these tiny roads everywhere. I just thought it'd be good in this area because this is going to be a more of a more of a dense section later on. So we want to really cram stuff in. That's kind of the idea. Uh, but probably moving back out here, we can use larger roads. So that is kind of the idea at the moment. Um, oh yeah, I do actually want to change this into a roundabout here. It's also a little hilly, so we'll have to make sure it's okay. 
So the smallest roundabout we can do is 15. Well, we can do smaller, but it might be too small. Let's try doing a 20 size roundabout. And I might actually just use a single lane road. So if we do, was it the highway? It's like the highway ramp. Highway ramp elevated. I just want regular highway ramp. Here we go. Like that. Does that car just break in the middle of the road? Get out of here. Oh, now you're just, now everyone's just, now you've stopped. Hmm. We might have a... <laughs> this might not have worked. <laughs> Hang on, let's have a look. What's going on? What's going on? Hello? Uh, you're giving way, but... Uh, I don't seem, to, you don't seem to be working. Hello? Maybe you didn't go anywhere, that was weird. Hang on. Didn't seem to be, like, connected, so I'm just gonna... Normally you shouldn't have to do this, but sometimes the roundabout mod's a little funny, so we'll just get it all joined up. Okay. There we go. Alright, now let's also, um... Let's, I guess, smooth this little section out, because that's a little dodgy. From here to here. That's better. Yeah, much nicer. Uh, and then I might- oh, I don't have landscaping tools yet. I was gonna say I might level this out a little bit, but that's fine for now. Alright, so that's gonna go there. Uh, I would like to change the speed limit on it though, because it's gonna be 80 in a, <laughs> in a 40 zone, so let's just go back down to 40. Alright, so we got that roundabout there. It's pretty big. That could use some decoration later on. I swear I unchecked keep open before, so I don't know why that was open again. Oh, I know why, because I restarted my game. Is there a default setting for that? There probably is. Let's see, roundabout... Round... Round... And about builder. Um, hmm, use old snapping algorithm. Arrow selection. Do not remove. Reset tool window position. Remove glitch roads. Hmm. I guess you have to do it per game load. Oh, well, whatever. All right. Anyway, so that's good. Uh, oh, we got a lot, lot of residential demand. So I think I'll just fill in this area, to be honest. This is going to be residential, so I might as well. Get rid of that. Uh, and then I was keeping this main road. I always, I don't know, there's something with me and main roads. I, I love them being, I love them being, uh, commercial. It's just, I don't know. It's just the way it is. Okay, now, hey, little Hamlet. Woo! Good job, everybody. It's teamwork. So we can get loans and taxes. We got garbage collection and healthcare. Uh, ooh, campus areas. I don't think we can do any campus yet, though. All right, so let's, while it's building up, we're gonna need to... Get started on garbage collection. Now, I could do recycling, but that's... It's it's always super expensive. Uh, 240 a week. We're not actually making that much. I mean, I guess we could try. Oh, we're running out of power. Actually, before I do anything else, we get more power generation. Uh, so I'll get this out here. And I will get a... Let's... We'll, we'll try a recycle. Look, I would like to... I would like to keep it clean, you know? I would like to, but... How much does that actually process for us? Oh, okay, well for now, plenty, but later on it's probably gonna be a bit rough. Alright, so that should have enough power now, which is good. Uh, and then we also got healthcare and all that kind of stuff. So we've also got the, uh, I think I turned on like all the European stuff too, so we could use some of those. Because I feel like we haven't used them in a while, so I'm gonna use this. Right here. It's quite a nice building too, I like it. Uh, so we'll put that in. So we got medical clinic, which will make everybody happy. Wait, how much is that? That cost me... 400 a week, so that's probably gonna be most of my budget. Uh, with between that and the additional turbine and the, the recycling center. We're gonna need more people here. Uh, garbage issues. Yeah, this garbage truck's coming. I don't know if I like a right turn there. I guess an easy way to... Yeah, hang on. I'm gonna say... There's a right turn here, though, aren't they? Like, maybe we should make... Maybe this should be a one-way road. But then I also don't want to... Hmm. I just don't want to, I don't like that sharp turn. Maybe I'll turn- yeah, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna already turn this into a one-way road, but we'll put parking on it, so it'll be nice. Otherwise, so it's gonna go in this way. Oh, wrong way, that way. So you're gonna go this way. Oh, whoops. Uh, and I guess we'll, we'll have to allow a turn that way, otherwise it's gonna be slightly annoying. Or- Oh, we could do a roundabout, actually. It doesn't seem like it's gonna be that busy, though. If it's only literally this road, a roundabout's probably unnecessary. If we did a- actually, can I just do a roundabout at the end of this road? Can I just do one here? It'll, does it let me do that? Oh, it does. Uh, is that gonna be big enough though for this space? I might build it a little bit bigger just so we can... You know, worry about sizing up later. And then I'm gonna say- so I guess, kind of, I didn't really need to do this because I could always just use a roundabout. 
You can go right. Uh, you can't turn left. Well, actually, it's kind of a weird turn, though. Shouldn't it be only left but no right turns? <laughs> that, that would make more sense. Uh, hmm. That would make way more sense. You know what? You know what I might do? Here's what I'll do. <laughs> Let's move this. We'll keep the snapping on. And then, okay, yeah, keep snapping on. And then turn that like that. So we almost join the road at, at a 90 degree turn. And then I'll say only left turns. So no right hand turns there. I guess I also don't need to do that. Anyway, so there's a turnaround there for whatever. So it means actually people coming this way out of this road will be able to turn around and go back, which is good. All right, so they, you got to go that way now. That's fine. Uh, they can only go left, no right turn, so they don't cut across oncoming traffic. Those trucks are now kind of messed up because I probably wanted to go this way, but they couldn't. Hmm, very nice. Cool. All right, so there's a lot of industrial demand right now. Good. How How is traffic? Is it 100% flow? 73%. Which I'm going to guess is, yeah, it's gonna, <laughs> I was going to say it's probably the highway. Because if we have a look at it, there's a sing it goes from two lane down to single lane. Like I said, we're going to need to rebuild this. Uh, we're definitely going to need to rebuild it. There's so much traffic on it. Oh my, oh my god. Well, there's your problem. <laughs> oh, that's bad. Uh, well, I can't, I can't build that right now. Um, we might just have to, at some point... I guess it's not it's, look, it's not really a problem right now. I mean, maybe it is. No, the despawning. It's probably fine. It's not it's not impacting my city yet. Hey, where the village? Um, but as we expand, actually I wonder if we can Will that be in the get out of it. Will that be within my tile purchasing? Because I don't want to just unlock all the tiles. I kinda like the challenge of buying the tiles as we go, you know? I don't know, let me know in the comments down below. Uh <laughs> I'll just wait for your input and then we'll figure it out from there. Uh, so we're going to get some more shops along here, like so. You know, I think it makes sense. That one there, please, just on the, that main strip. Uh, we might even do, I might have to download some Rico things, because I'd like probably like to place buildings manually along this curve. Otherwise, it's not going to look right, you know. But maybe we'll worry about that when we start upgrading to more high density stuff, because that's probably going to be a little bit more important. Uh, cool. I might move this. Yeah, we don't need that anymore. At all, which is great. So I might just say this can go here, and then all this can be residential. Don't know if I want houses on that bit. I don't know why I did that. Okay, so back over this way. Um, oh wow, this is this is a lot hillier than I thought. So that looks really stupid. <laughs> that, that looks really bad, but I guess sure. Uh, I would like to continue this main road with a normal road and kind of bring it. Oh, hang on. Stick it on the ground. Bring it around with the rail so it sort of gets really close to it. Which I think might be kind of how there was a road here originally. But. And then we're going to go. Actually, I might come to here. And then we have the road going underneath because there's already a bridge here, so it seems to make sense. And then as we see fit, we can always um, upgrade to a roundabout or we can upgrade to larger roads. But for now. So it goes down there, goes underneath. And there's clearly a spot to do a nice highway connection there too. So we'll uh, worry about that as we go. But for now, uh, I might do... Uh, I probably want to leave space here. We could do... We could continue this road. Uh, do I want it to be a straight road? Because we can... Again, we can go straight under here, which is quite good. Uh, I just don't know where that's going to go to. Well, I guess actually that should probably be a highway connection. If we just did a really simple connection there, that'd probably be really good for this industrial area. But whatever. Uh, do I want to use small roads here? Probably not. Um, why do I have two of these? I need to get I need to get rid of this one. I don't need that one. Uh, probably just do like a normal one of these. Is there? Why is this? Does this not snap? Did I turn off snapping of some sort here? Yeah, turn those back on. No, it just doesn't actually want to snap there. I wanted to sort of go along the back of this. Uh, hang on. Sort of run along the back of those, yeah. Nice, yeah, that's good. And then we'll sort of probably, I guess, maybe conform a bit more to the highway, otherwise we're just going to be building a big square and it might not look very good, so we'll figure that out. Okay, so that's going to go there. We'll, again, like I said, we'll probably, <laughs> we'll probably end up removing those at some point. Alright, so that's going to help us out with... Uh, more industrial. 
Yeah, that way now. Power-wise, getting a little low, so we're gonna need another one already. These are all really close together. Uh, which is very unrealistic. Like, this one is just taking wind from that one, so... It doesn't make a lot of sense, but, you know, all good. Uh, oh, having copper issues. Uh, what's the European one? Should we? I mean, we should... Should we use the European ones? I don't know. This is, again, probably something we'll change anyway, so... Can for now. Let's use it. Why not? There you go. Send them out. All right, so then we also want to... Let's get some schools going. I don't know if I want the elementary... This uh, We'll get the normal elementary school, though. The vanilla one. Uh, so this can go... Maybe out over this way. We should. Oh, it's kind of near the poo, though, isn't it? We should probably sort that out at some point. <laughs> uh, this can go out here. We'll go this way. Uh, we're going to need some pipes and all that out here, too. Start educating the masses. Because obviously, at some point, we are going to want to have a campus. And for that, we're going to need educated citizens. And a lot of them. Come around this way, go over here. Nice. Now. Need a lot more residential, so let's try to fill in this space here. We could probably use another sort of larger road. And by larger road, I mean a small road uh, that comes this way. Uh, I want to go like this, I think. Hey guys, coming through, sorry. And at some point, once we remove that sewage outflow pipe, it'll be nice. Probably. Maybe. <laughs> probably maybe. So that'll go to there. Yeah, cool. Then we can just fill this in with smaller roads too. And then this will obviously continue down this way, as will that. Uh, this kind of looks weird though, because it, it almost looks back to front like this should have a crossing and this shouldn't. You know? <laughs> yeah, that's that's kind of what it looks like, so I might change this road to this one. Yeah, all the way out there. And then this one... I kind of do want a crossing on it, so maybe I'll go back to... We can just do it for that, we can just do it for that bit, because it, it's pretty close to the default road. It's slightly different, but... It allows us to just have a little crossing there, which is good. And then through this area, maybe if we get a uh, one... Should we just do a one that comes down here? I'm not going to bother trying to get these really close together like I did before, just because that seemed like it wasn't worth it. It also actually does leave a whole space, so we could do pathways through it all, which actually could be really useful. And then this one... You know what? Why don't we do like a little alleyway in this one, like this. It goes to there. It's like a little one-way road, sort of fills that space out. I'm imagining this- see, here's the thing, I'm sort of- this is not designed like, I guess like a low-density suburb probably would be. I'm designing it like this is all going to be high-density, because I want it to be. <laughs> but we don't have it yet, so we got to do it this way. So that's why it might look a little odd. Now, is this- whoopsie daisies, don't, don't build there. Is this, uh... It's, it does pollute around it. I don't, is it going to get more than this, or is that as far as it's going to go? Because that, that's kind of also important to know. <laughs> if it's going to go further or not. Because if it's not, it'll be fine. If it is going to spread further, then we might have an issue. <laughs> we might have an issue with having people live here. Let's get some shops opposite the school, and also next to the school, and we get some parks around it later on too. Just to get it sort of building. Ah, this is a nice little city. The nice city of Baruna. Except for the traffic on the highway trying to get into the city. Uh, where was it? I was like... <laughs> it's because it, for some reason we go down from two lanes down to one. And then they can only let one car through. Actually, I can, hang on. We can, we can at least fix the... Hang on. We can fix the traffic flow a bit for now. This should all have free-flowing traffic. Because that's what's really... I don't know why this doesn't. Because highway, highway roads typically should have the free-flowing junctions by default. But... I don't seem to. Alright, now we've got to make sure that these are set up correctly. So that gives way. This... Oh, no, that's priority. No, hang on. That's priority. Cool. That should be set up properly now. Uh, I would much prefer two lanes coming into this. I don't think I've... I don't think I can build it there yet, though. Hang on, so I'm just going to make sure that they don't do stupid U-turns here. Because they sometimes do. Uh, I don't. I just don't know why. This roundabout is too small for this. For this, because <laughs> those two lanes cannot handle it. Okay, if we can get some good, mo it's definitely flowing a lot faster now. So, I think maybe if that clears out now, it should be a bit better. Because now it's set up like a proper roundabout, so it should be okay. Well, hello, we've bounced back over here. 
I don't know. Do, are there any other roundabouts? I don't know that there were. There's this, which is a bit weird. There's that one. I don't think so. I think it's mainly just that one. Unless. No, nah, it is literally just that one roundabout. Uh, and then, I guess... Well, this one's actually working okay now, because when we did the traffic manager stuff there, before it was a bit dodgy. We haven't done anything here, but that seems okay. Alright, come on, guys. <laughs> I like how they're in the middle of nowhere. This is like the worst traffic ever. Okay. You know what? I think we're probably good to leave this part here. Like, it's a... You know, it's a really... Oh, we're running out of power again already. It's a really casual... First part, I might just boost up the budget for power. Uh, very casual first part. Taking it very easy, leaving it very open to style and, uh, and you know, all that kind of stuff moving forward in terms of building style. Like, this is all just kind of just getting the numbers going, and then we can customize it a lot more as we go, and we can do building themes and all that kind of stuff again. So we did that back in a few, few series ago now. I guess this can be a district, so I might as well do that. Because uh, I believe I should have the, the building theme mod on. Let's have a look. And I also, yeah, I also got this mod to allow setting historical and unhistorical buildings. So if we like the look of an area, but we want to upgrade it, we can, you know, keep the look, but upgrade it. Um, themes. Yeah, so we've got... Oh, best ever. Yeah, so we needed the theme uh, thing. Because we had, because obviously, I think there's, there's themes in the game by default, right? But it doesn't really work. The way that the mods make it work? I don't know. I don't know. You guys probably know more about it. It's been a while since I've used the theme manager stuff. So we're back on it. See how we go. Also, oh, you know what? We're definitely going to... This road will definitely be quite busy. I think I'll bring... I, I don't think I'll bridge across here. We'll probably bring it... I'll curve it around here like this. And maybe even bring it to this roundabout. Because that'll be probably a big road to get across. Maybe it might even be good to actually bridge through this whole area. Maybe, maybe we will. Like this. Because this will be a pretty important island too. Um, maybe even up here like that. Just because, uh, we, we're going to need some roads to go under the highway without going directly through it like that. Uh, maybe one round here too would be good. Because at the moment, if you want to get from the, the residential to here, you have to drive through it. But right now it's fine because we have a thousand people, so it's really not an issue at all. But as we grow, it will become an issue. Now, has this changed at all? I don't think it's getting any bigger. I don't know if it'll get worse as we have more people or something, but, uh, We'll find out. We'll see how we go. Until then, uh, make sure to leave all your comments and suggestions down below. Uh, really would like your feedback on this first part. I actually do have to record another, I think, I don't know how many parts I have to record, like four or five, because I'm going away to E3 this year. Uh, so I need to do a bunch of these, but I want to get this part out now so that I can get all your feedback before I record those five parts, because I didn't want to like, record, you know, half of the building of this whole area, and then you'd be like, no, oh, that's kind of bad. Uh, that kind of sucks, and then I'll be like, oh, damn it, damn it. So, please do comment, um, really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, guys. I <laughs> will see you next time, and have an awesome day.